to take a moment and give it a breath. And the breath is called the earth breath. And the earth breath allows you to give it some energy and connect it to this thing called land that we walk around on every day. So when we do the earth breath, we bring in, breathe in the nose and out the nose. In the nose and out the nose. One more time, in the nose and out the nose. And sometimes that's what we need to do. We need to take a breath because there's so many things around us that literally takes our breath away. And certainly guns and, and bullets do that. Here in what is called Turtle Island, we say the United States of America, but indigenous people call it Turtle Island. My Lakota brothers and sisters say Mita Koye Oyase. All our relations, the two-legged, the four-legged, those that swim, those that fly. So when we take on the idea that we are all interrelated in this room and in this community and in this world, we can create the very thing that you're here to create, and that's wellness. And I want to make a distinction between the reason that you came here and the purpose that you're here, two different things. The reason you're here is because you've lost a loved one and you know how violence is in fact destroying your communities. But the purpose that you're here is for human development. How do we develop ourselves? How do we develop our families? How do we develop our community? Um, Carol is here. Carol and I met um, a number of years ago when we were going through a training called, uh, Carol, what was the name of the training? Transformation. Transformation. The diversity leadership program. But transformation for, of social therapy, which is saying that we live in a sick society. And the results that we are experiencing is not the fault of the individual, it's in fact the society in which we're living in. And Charles Rosman, who created this particular way of thinking, says that violence can be at least four things. It can be mistreatment, it's going to cause violence. It can come from abandonment. That's going to cause violence. It can also come from humiliation. That's going to cause violence. And also blaming, right? Blaming and constantly mislabeling someone is going to cause violence. In the world of social work, we call that microaggressions where one aggression on top of another on top of another and then it builds up, it becomes cumulative and then there's an explosion. So this thing called violence is something that we're looking at maybe just the wrong way. If we were to say that, as Charles Rosman says, that violence is a default mechanism. Hmm. And that is to say, we don't need to involve in conflict resolution, we need to involve in conflict. Why? Because we all don't agree on all the things all the time. Humans are very complicated, right? I like chocolate, you like, like vanilla, somebody like strawberry, okay, what are we gonna get, butter pecan, okay, fine. <laughs> so if we look at conflict as being healthy, the more conflict we can in, in, engage in, the more we can find solutions to whatever's going on. But when we avoid conflict, healthy conflict, then the default mechanism is violence. I'm here today, you said, why did I come over? I live in Landtown, but I work in New York. You said, why would I drive all the way from you know, New York to be with you today? It's because I'm related to you. Because I want your sons and your daughters to grow up the same way that I want my sons and daughters to grow up. And I'm also coming here to say to you, you're not alone. There are over 50, 75 cities across the world that's engaging in this process of understanding violence as a community, as a public health problem.